Ma'am, could you please do like this for me as quickly as you can? She is able to look at up and down, so she has no the vertical gaze policy. So the progressive supranuclear policy is excluded. She has no features of cerebellar syndrome as evidenced by, that is, the absence of impaired intention tremor. Hello, my dear doctor, the station three in neurology. Yes, my dear doctor, the tips and tricks already we learned from the other video clips as well. What is that? Yes. The instruction board, my dear. If you see the instruction board, the station three neurology, examine this lady neurologically. Yes, my dear. The tips and tricks, the diagnosis will be the PD, MG, and MD. PD for Parkinson's disease, MG for myasthenia gravis, and MD for myotonic dystrophy. So these are the three serious diagnoses, my dear. If you enter in the room that you have seen the man or the woman is elderly, so definitely the diagnosis is the number one. The PD is the likely diagnosis. So it's for the diagnosis, you get the diagnosis in your hands, my dear. Means the Parkinson disease is a likely diagnosis. Secondly, is that if you enter in the room, if you've if you seen that the young boy or young girl is there, so the diagnosis is the myotonic dystrophy. And in between them, that is the myasthenia gravis is the diagnosis. And after that, you enter the room, then you need to do the, all the zip bundle packs all together. So this is really needed, my dear. Means the greetings, introduction, instruction, pain, position, and poser. So yes, my dear doctor, the, you need to do that. You need to tell her. Good morning, ma'am. My name is Dr. Sa, one of the patients candidate here today. I've been asked to examine your nerves of your face, of your hands and feet, all together. And you need to wash your hands. Means the greetings, introduction, and introduce yourself. You need to tell. Ma'am, then I'm, I'm Dr. Saha, one of the patients candidate here today. I've been asked to examine your nerves of your face, your hands and, and leg as well. So do you have any pain at you, any parts of your body? You need to ask about the pain and the discomfort. If the pain is there, so you need to tell her. So if you feel any kinds of pain or discomfort, just let me know, I'll stop at that moment. And immediately after that, the pain, position and pose are, means that you manage the pain, now the position and the pose are my dear. Means for the neurological examinations, yes, whatever you need, my dear, for the Parkinson's disease, that you need to examine her. So, my dear, listen very carefully for the Parkinson's disease. If you spot the diagnosis, what you need to do. The first important point that you need to establish yourself for getting the findings of the Parkinsonism, that is the three important triad, my dear. Means the berigaricia, tremor, rigidity, and the postural instability. So, immediately after that, the berigaricia, tremor, rigidity, that you need to establish the Parkinsonism. The second step that you need to tell, this is Parkinson's disease, and this is nothing but the idiopathic, that is evidenced by asymmetrical evidences and better on cinema. And third point, to exclude the other secondary findings, especially the drug-induced Parkinsonism, and secondly, the Parkinson plus syndrome, and thirdly, Wilson's disease. And fourthly, to get the any evidences of treatment evidences, minor, means the drug causing any, any problem, like the dyskinetic movements that you, you get my dear. So these are the four important points that you need to show to the examiner so that you can get the full marks my dear. So let me start by starting the examining her and the first examination starts and if you enter in the room that you have seen that the lady is sitting and she has got the orofacial that the involuntary movement and having some of the tremor and this is nothing but the evidence, the spot, the diagnosis, the evidence of there is a, the treatment evidences my dear. I mean, the, drug induced dyskinesia. Mm -hmm. So yes. So you can look at, at her face that you can see the expressionless facies and the hypomimia and also depressed look, the diagnosis, the definitely the Parkinson's disease. Yes. But you see that there is an involuntary dyskinetic movements of the tongue and we call the orofacial dyskinesia. So this is nothing but the treatment evidences that this lady is on the treatment that you spot the diagnosis of the Parkinson's disease. Mm -hmm. So yes, for the Brady kindness, I need to tell her. First time in the world. Most effective course. MRCP UK, SS Paces, a complete online course. Five complete stations, eight encounters, 32 modules. More than 100 history cases, communications and skills cases. More than 200 clinical cases and clinical approaches. More than 400 presentations. 500 plus hours video lectures. 1000 plus notes, SS boxes, SS tips and tricks, questions and explanations. 
one of the best paces mentor, world famous experienced skillful and expert MRCP UK teacher. Learn with Dr. Sumata Kimur Saha, Chairman and Course Coordinator of SS Academy. The best and the best and the best course ever you will experience in your whole lifetime. Ma'am, could you please do like this for me as quickly as you can? So she has the, some of the tremor in the both hands that you can see. But yes, once again, can you do like this for me as quickly as you can for the Brady Kinesia. So yes, she has got the reduced movements and yes, and also the tremor and she has got the tremor. We can, we can observe her tremor in the left hand is more prominent than the, the right hand. For the tremor, the you tell her, can you, could you please just count back from the 20 and then back like the 20, 19, 18. And for rigidity really test, what you need to do, you need to put your hands and then you need to tell her, do you have any pain at the right wrist? Then you can see the rigidity. Yes, she has got the cogwheel rigidity in the right wrist and also on the elbow, there is no rigidity, but in the wrist joint that you can feel the rigidity. So it's very difficult for her and also for me to get the findings because uh, she's not that much cooperative so that we can get the, all the findings. So you can see the cogwheel rigidity, all them together. So in the left, left wrist as well. To get the findings is really difficult for us actually, just to show you to the peoples, to get the findings of the very kind of tremor rigidity. And, and also along with that, we'll see her gait as well. Yes, her gait that really important and to look and spot the diagnosis of the Parkinson's disease. And definitely the, Parkinson's disease that needs the asymmetrical finding that we found the findings are on the left side on the hands the more prominent so definitely this is the idiopathic Parkinson's disease. So now we'll see her gait. Ma'am could you please just stand up for me? Just walk for me, walk, stand, stand up. So you see that she has the difficulty on stand up and also having the walking difficulties and the short shuffling gait that we can see the short shuffling gait yes the walking difficulty yes once again, get in turn, turn. So you see, so it's very difficult for her and the short stopping is to push her as well. Yes, yes, sit down back. So you can see that she has the difficulty to stand up. And after that, when it starts to walking, that she adopts to push her and having the reduced hand swing and also the and the tremor on the left hand side that accentuated so definitely the idiopathic Parkinson's disease and after that as we diagnosed the Parkinson's disease the first diagnosis that we made my dear the Parkinsonism very kind of tremor and rigidity and second one is the idiopathic because of the asymmetrical findings on the left hand side and third important points to exclude the other things like the drug induced that we need to know the drug history and third, second important point that is the Parkinson's plus syndrome for the Parkinson's plus syndrome, then what you need to do? The progressive supranuclear palsy. There is a vertical gauge palsy. So the, for the progressive supranuclear palsy, then you need to tell her, ma'am, could you please just follow my finger? So yes. First time in the world. Most effective course. MRCP UK, SS Paces, a complete online course. Five complete stations, eight encounters, 32 modules, more than 100 history cases, communications and skills cases, more than 200 clinical cases and clinical approaches, more than 400 presentations, 500 plus hours video lectures, 1000 plus notes, SS boxes, SS tips and tricks, questions and explanations. One of the best paces mentor, world famous experienced skillful and expert MRCP UK teacher. Learn with Dr. Sumata Kimur Saha, Chairman and Course Coordinator of SS Academy. The best and the best and the best course ever you will experience in your whole lifetime. She is able to look at up and down, so she has no the vertical gauge policy, so the progressive supranuclear policy is excluded. And just remember, my dear, listen very carefully from the head that you need to do the mini mental state examination and in the eyes that you need to look for any Kaiser pressure ring as well. So, so yes, 
for the kinds of restoring then what you need to do you need to look very carefully and you need to do the test that the slit limb examination for doing the kinds of restoring so once again mini mental state examination kinds of restoring vertical gaze palsy and in the hands that you need to do the blood pressure and the hands that you need to look at the blood pressure means the lying and standing blood pressure to exclude the postural drop to make the diagnosis and to exclude the diagnosis of the Schindegger syndrome and in the hands then what you need to do for getting the test for the cerebellar syndrome ma'am could you please just touch my finger and touch me your nose so he, she can do it but because of her uh, restlessness it's really difficult to get the appreciation of the diagnosis for the cerebellar syndrome so she she first time in the world most effective course MRCP UK SS Paces a complete online course five complete stations eight encounters 32 modules more than 100 history cases, communications and skills cases. More than 200 clinical cases and clinical approaches. More than 400 presentations. 500 plus hours video lectures. 1000 plus notes, SS boxes, SS tips and tricks, questions and explanations. One of the best paces mentor, world famous experienced skillful and expert MRCP UK teacher. Learn with Dr. Sumanta Kimur Saha, Chairman and Course Coordinator of SS Academy. The best and the best and the best course ever you will experience in your whole lifetime. She has no features of cerebral syndrome as evidenced by, that is, the absence of impaired intention tremor. So yes, that you need to remember the blood pressure, intention tremor, and the plantar response. So the plantar response that you need to examine now and to get the findings. So now that we look forward for the plantar responses, let's see the, how the plantar response is going on. You need to scratch. And to tell her, so I'd like to, ma'am, I'd like to scratch on your sort of feet. That might be a little bit discomfort. Then you need to look at the plantar response. And also here, the plantar response. So the plantar response. So we found in our case that both are flex plantar response. So yes, my dear doctor did the findings that we found that starting with the yes, my clinical diagnosis of this lady and definitely after having finishing the examination in detail, that I'd like to finish my all the clinical examinations of the neurology that examining the higher psychic function, cranial nerves and the upper limbs, lower limbs and the cerebellar syndrome all together. And also I would like to finish my, the full examinations by doing the, uh, by checking the observation chart that includes the pulse, temperature, respiratory rate, blood pressure, oxygen saturations, and also to do the urine dipstick for the sugar, protein, or vaccinator. Saying them these three important bundle packs, it does mean that you finished your full examinations by there. Immediately after that, you need to present your case. And presentation points, that, as I said, that you need to include the four important points and to tell the way that I'm, I'm doing my there. My clinical diagnosis of this elderly lady is Parkinsonism. As evidenced by, she has got the bradykinesia, rigidity, and tremor. But the postural instability that I have not tested here. And secondly, I think this underlying etiology of the Parkinsonism is an idiopathic Parkinsonism, as evidenced by the asymmetrical findings, and also she has got the Parkinsonian gait, and also expressionless facies and depressed look as well as the, the gait is described as the, as the short shuffling, as well as the, and also the, there is a stoop pusha and also, and also hesitant and fascinate gait altogether. And the, I would like, I already excluded the other secondary possible causes of Parkinsonism, as I'd like to know the drug history to exclude the drug induced Parkinsonism. And secondly, the Parkinson plus syndrome in the, in the form of shy, uh, the progressive supranuclear palsy as evidenced by the absence of vertical gates. So yes, uh, so yes, the absence of vertical gates palsy um, and also the secondly, that is the secondly, the, 
the the olivo pontocerebral atrophy that is absence of the pyramidal uh, responses that is the plantar responses is not extensor along with the cerebellar signs absent that is evidenced by absence of intention tremor impaired and after that also along with that the, i'd like to uh, assess uh, the mini mental state examination and the kaiser pressure ring for the slit name examination and lying and standing blood pressure to exode the shine trigger syndrome altogether so yes my dear doctor i hope that after seeing that and she's on treatment right at this moment and this treatment is evidenced by she has got the orofacial dyskinesia and she is on treatment uh, right at this moment because of the levodopa induced dyskinesia that is the diagnosis in our case and uh, putting all them together my clinical diagnosis this lady elderly lady has got the idiopathic parkinson's disease on treatment and that, that treatment complicating her with the orofacial dyskinesia and excluded the other secondary possible mm -hmm. diagnosis and this is a clinical diagnosis strictly mm -hmm. so yes uh, i hope that my dear doctor listen very carefully having such an elderly lady idiopathic parkinson disease with the orofacial dyskinesia the treatment in this dyskinesia i hope that you enjoyed my dear the typical case in, in your real exams sometimes it happens the real exam as well the examiner will help you regarding to control her and also to get the findings all your hands in together i hope that you enjoyed thank you thank you very much